Help! Help me! I am being attacked by horses! My entire theme park base is entirely covered with horses. Welcome back to Hermitcraft, everybody. Good times with Scar here, and apparently I have been horse-cursed. That's right. I have been horse-cursed by B-dubs. Rightfully so, some may say, because I did kill a Loamora who is a no Amora, and we feel so bad for a B-dubs that loses best and favorite horse. But it was, of course, an accident, a tragic accident at that. But maybe not worthy of all these horses in the manure, aka poop everywhere. But that's not all. No, there is wither skulls floating above my base. This can only be done by Doc, who, uh, <coughs> of course, I uh, destroyed a massive redstone contraption of his, and apparently he has put these here. I don't know if these are going to explode, or they're just going to chill out up there. Are they going to launch? Can they be heat-seeking missiles to kill off all these horses? These are all the questions that I do have. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have been attacked. Rightfully so, some may say. The revenge has been taken upon me, but I do have an exciting episode for you. We got a lot of fun things coming up. I just got to figure out what to do with these horses and the with their skulls. I've got a manure problem. It's everywhere. I don't know what to do with it. Look at it. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. Worst of all, I can't seem to pick it up or get rid of it. Where is the cleaning lady when you need her? Pearl? <laughs> Pearl, where are you? I need you help. One thing these wretched creatures can't do is fly away and land right here in this giant grass field, which in today's episode, we're going to transform into the front of Scarland. What is that? Can you see that? Oh, it's a disembodied skeleton head. The mysteries of Scarland are boundless for sure. But anyway, as I said, we're going to transform this area and it's no longer going to be a grass field. It's finally going to have all the buildings and beautiful flowers and trees and everything, which is going to be incredible. By the way, 1.20 is almost here. And by the time you're watching this, you're probably already playing it. What do you think so far? What are your favorite things? I can't wait to get my hands on it. I am very excited about the flowers coming. I think we're going to be able to incorporate them into the parks and and the pink leaves into our pink trees. But Cleo, the master of all things armor stand creativity, has added, oh my gosh, it's a little cute B-dubs. Look at how adorable he looks in his little stroll stroll. Oh, that is amazing. And as always, Cleo is an artist. And look at how she has incorporated so much life and energy to the scene where the balloon has been released and the parents are reaching for it. They drop their jelly slurpee and then little B-dubs here with his crying eyes like, oh, no, not the balloon. No, leave me alone. I'm having a nice moment over here, you stupid horses. Here's a question for you. What happens when you fly? through the wither skulls. Apparently nothing at all. <laughs> so what do these things do? Maybe if we punch them, they will explode. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was scaffolding into one. Okay, they don't do anything at all. All right, I'm gonna bang one of these skulls with a piston and see if we can either move it or explode it. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got a piston placed. It's inside the skull. Okay. We got a piston. <gasps> I shouldn't have done that, but I do have full armor, so that's fine. It just moved it. Interesting. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to stand in front of it and flick the lever. <gasps> okay. It did nothing. It just put it inside of the piston. Doc saw me working on this has now said to use a slime block. I don't know if I should listen to him. But I'm going to anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, what in the world? I broke a piston. I broke the piston. How have I done that? That is such a cool decorational block. I've never seen the inside of a piston before. It's like three-fourths thick, right? Ah, it's back. And now I'm sad. Very interesting. I've got quite a few ideas now. So let me uh, round up these horses, get a test dummy, and Real Life Scar has a message for you. You may wonder how I got here with these delicious meals in front of me. Well, that's where today's sponsor, 
Factor comes in. Factor's pre-prepared meal kits are easy to order and delivered fresh, never frozen, right to your doorstep. Just heat and enjoy in minutes via the microwave or the oven. Factor takes out the guesswork of grocery shopping, meal prepping, or expensive takeout. It saves time and energy for other things this summer like off-road wheelchairing. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan, and veggie options that all fit within your lifestyle. Choose from 34 chef-prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, plus you can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of four 45 plus add-ons, including breakfast items. I love cooking, but don't always have the time. And that is where Factor's delicious meals come in. So we don't have to reach for the food delivery app and no tortilla injuries. Yes, our cat Jelly joins us here at the dinner table. Now I have something I'd like you to do. Head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code SCAR50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's right, an entire 50% off your first Factor box by using code SCAR50. So click the link by doing that and using the code you help support me and the channel. Well, that was quite the experience getting all of these horses here in the pen, but in the process, I found that B-dubs made a game. Look at this carnival game that B-dubs built called Horse Pop. <laughs> Hello there, B-dubs. Anyway, these horses bounce, right? But you can see that there's a target block back there. So you have to basically hit the target block and it releases the horse and then you get the super cool horse. Now, I'm not sure how much this costs because it just says pay. So, do I just make up a number? Maybe 10 diamonds? <laughs> I have no idea, but I wanna give this a shot here. This green horse is calling my name. Now, the ammo box or the ball box is empty, so I'm just gonna use what I've got on me. It's my arrow. So, here we go. All right, I have a, I have a good feeling. Wait for the, one of those big bounces and we've got this. Oh, yes! Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, dang it. Okay, okay, we got this. We can do this again. We can do this again. We're all lined up. Okay, wait for one of those big bounces. Aimed, prepared, and fire! Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I think we killed it. Oh, so sad. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Unfortunately, we didn't get the horse, but you know, we got to give back the resources. <laughs> I'm going to be back for you beautiful horses eventually. That was just very expensive. What to do with the skulls? I don't really know. Now, I am curious, can you actually be hurt by these? So if we have the setup with the piston and the slime blocks, that gives it 10 block radius of fly ability. Okay, we do take a little bit of damage. Now the question is, what if we condensed a whole bunch of skulls together? Does that multiply the damage being dealt? Interesting question. Wasn't anticipating the weather effect, by the way. Should have, but wasn't. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating, no! <laughs> Withered away. I'll work on the skulls later because we are now fully updated to 1.20 and look at the castle. This is brought to you by B-Dubs. He helped me set up the Bobby mod and a fog mod to make it so we can see the castle from the front of the park, which looks incredible. So send a big thank you over to our luscious, beautiful, six foot tall B-Dubs. Look at this, we can see the shopping district, the Hawkeye headquarters. And if we turn around, we can see, oh, I thought I could see Green Space, but you can see his name there. That's also cool looking. Before we start building today, let's go on a little adventure, find the pink wood, and best of all, the pink flowers of 1.20. Probably would have been a big brain move to ask the others where the pink wood is. I am uh, lost and I've been out here for 40 minutes. This polar bear is trying to push me off the bed. I saw what you did. You tried to take my bed from me. Now you're just getting yourself a drink. Well, I hope you get brain freeze from how cold that water is. Mm -hmm. Please don't be another pink forest mirage. Don't be a mirage. Don't be a mirage. That's the real deal. Let's go. That is the 1.20 pink forest. Oh, I am hyped for this. Now, what am I hyped for? The trees? No, not really. I like the leaves. The wood can take it or leave it, but I'm here for the flowers. These are next generation Minecraft flowers. I have been asking for something like this for a very long time where we can stack multiple flowers per block to fill it in because the existing Minecraft flowers scale or don't scale at all and they look awkward. So these 
are fantastic. Oh, I love it. And the leaves are also nice too. These, these are nice, I like them. I thought I was bee cursed here for a minute until I realized I was holding a flower. <laughs> but anyway, take a look at this here. So we've got our flowers and this is why I love it. How you can fill the entire block up with them. And then also the best new sapling in the game right there. That is hands down the best sapling. I do really like the leaves as this can act as a really fantastic, a big flower in my opinion. Now the wood's okay. I think it could have its application, but I'm more here for the flowers. And with that, let's head on back. Houston, we've got a problem. I do not have my ender chest. I must have left it somewhere along the journey and we do not have a backup elytra. We are thousands and thousands of blocks still away trying to get as further as I can. Okay, okay, we survived, we're fine. Oh, no, 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 skeleton. No, 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 where do I hide? No, I've got something to tell you, skeleton, stop, stop. Okay, 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 we can bury in the tree. We're good, we're good, everything's fine. Deep breaths, calming feelings. We have two hearts, that's, that's a lot of hearts, that's a good amount of hearts. You probably wonder where my pants are. They were stolen, should have made another pair, but that's fine. I'm gonna hide out here until daytime. I should probably eat now. No good, dirty, rotten skeleton. Get out of here. And you too. All right. We survived that night somehow. <gasps> okay. Oh, gosh. Can't they just leave me alone? <laughs> Who else wants the power of my bow? This is going to be a 6,000 block march. Oh, boy. I am so glad to have found... <sighs> Almost fell. Total chaos. There's an ender chest here. Grab ourselves some wings. See you nerds back in Scarland. Glad to be back here in Scarland. And as I was walking here, I realized we're going to have to figure out where to put the pink wood in the storage area because we're pretty much full. So I think I'll take the miscellaneous wood items and the mushroom stem and move them to another building and make this the dedicated pink row. Wait, I just realized. There's bamboo too. I'll probably keep the bamboo inside my organic storage area. That makes sense. I've been goofing around all day with horse curses, wither skulls, and 1.19 flowers and wood, but it is now time to get going. Alan, haven't heard from you in quite a while. It's good to know you're still alive. If you could uh, restore my vision here, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And as I said, we're gonna get going here and we're gonna transform this entire area into a brand new section of Main Street. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna build up a beautiful Town Hall City Hall. I don't know why I said Town Hall City Hall. Is that the same thing? A Town Hall and a City Hall? Hmm, let me know. Anyway, hit it. Superfast build mode, and we now have a complete city hall here in the front of Scarland, slowly filling in the town square. And it's got some fun designs like the clock tower above, even the flower baskets hanging from the overhang with the brand new cherry blossoms. But my favorite is the window design. So 
The design of the windows is to mimic an old timey building from the big cities where the predated air conditioning, of course. So people had to raise up the windows to get a little bit of fresh air into the building. And especially with government buildings, if you look at old pictures, the windows are all open to different lengths. And I think that looks really cool. It could also double as shades being held over the window. So it could be both window open or shades. Kind of up to your imagination in the end. But as you can see, you got the theme park element elements all installed here on the roof, the real air conditioning supports for the clock tower. But there is a seedy underbelly to this city hall, like all good city halls. And that is probably my greatest achievement of all time. This is the most efficient unintentional mob farm I have ever created in Minecraft. I'm hoping that eventually they spleef each other to the point where I can get in here and light it up. They're doing a pretty good job at it so far. They blew open the back of the building. Surprisingly, this isn't the worst I've seen. There was far more mobs here before the floor was turned into Swiss cheese. This view belongs in a museum. Look at how cool that looks. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. But anyway, speaking of museums, Cub and Cleo have been working on separate museums right across the street from each other. And apparently Cub just took possession of a blue Ascolotl and he has a Hawkeye exhibit that I want to see. I love it. These museums have progressed so much over the time. Now we'll go over to Cub's museum because apparently he's got a Hawkeye display here somewhere. There it is. Oh, let's go. Look at Hawkeye in all of his glory. Signed autographs, the calendars, the TCG card the superb artwork, <laughs> but there's a Hawkeye challenge. That's right. I think you like stand here and you try to hit the arrow. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Where's my prize? I got nothing. Cub, apparently you've got to hit him within a second here. So bam, bam, take two. Yes, let's go. We got it. <laughs> it's broken. And it's just a replica. That's fine. The museum is full of incredible things like a tribute to the crossover with Empires from a few months ago. The original lodestone inside here, we've got the heads of some of the Empires members and some of the things that they brought to the server. This museum is so cool. There you are, Jelly. I'm honestly not surprised. When there's trouble at the park, the manure, the horses, you just hightail it out of there to go play in the museum here. I expect, that's right, I expect you to be back in Scarland by tomorrow. Welp, I think I know where the Wither Skulls came from, and apparently I'm not allowed to touch the buttons. Or am I? Whoa, that's a horrifying sound. Oh, we can see it, it's running. Whoa, is it going through the portal? Does that Wither look bigger than normal? That sound is terrifying. <laughs> I want to go inside. But we will be good scars and return back to Scarland without breaking anything because apparently I actually broke the anvil cannon and I didn't even know it. I love this view of our brand new city hall here in town square and especially the view right down Main Street. But where it all falls apart is if you look in this direction and we need to change this. And we need to change this with something special. We have this enormous grass field here that we can input our imagination onto. And of course, I have the perfect thing, and that's the TCG Theater. That's right, the TCG TV Theater, where we're gonna build our own arena that's built around entertainment rather than competitive play. Also, unintentionally, this theater looks, oh no, it looks just like the Corn Palace. That's right the corn palace what's that sound you hear ah that's just google trends going off with everybody searching what in the world is the corn palace <laughs> i can also just smell uh, burnt kettle corn in the distance but anyway i'll let you figure out what that is on your own but what do you think of the theater do you like the colors i think they came out really fun with the crimson the sandstone and the deep slate what a good color combination there but inside here of course in the interior we're going to build our arena and it's going to be more about entertainment rather than competitive play which will be a nice complement to the other theaters on the surface this will have a little little different vibe and of course on the back here we got a little silly and I decided 
I need a helipad here in our theme park. So we have a helipad and it's a small little homage to the helicopters that used to take guests from LAX to Disneyland Hotel. That's right, you used to be able to get on a helicopter from LAX and fly to the Disneyland Hotel. How cool was that? So we got some uh, antennas here and we got some uh, solar panels down below. And of course, a really cool view of our castle from here. I love the Bobby mod and a big thank you for B-Dubs helping me set this up with the Bobby mod and the Fog mod. It has changed the way I perceive my base. Thank you, B-Dubs. I had so much fun building these enormous buildings today. In our next episode, we'll finish the pathways and the landscaping all around them, but we need to come up with what else we'll do in that episode. So you choose. Should we work on our firework project? Should we work on our turnstile project or enact revenge? <laughs> anyway, you let me know in the comments. What of those things do you want to see for the next episode? And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. Doc's going to be scarred for life soon.